what's up Aquarius and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so here we are in October already holy crap happy Halloween to you guys this is always a very exciting time for us tarot enthusiasts but let's see what's going on for you guys now this is going to be like I said an October monthly reading whatever comes out comes out this will be for Sun moon and rising signs okay all right so what is going on for the side of Aquarius October 2018 past present future what is going on for the sign of Aquarius it was so funny because just today uh, one of my Aquarian friends she was like oh my god was that so well? I went to the shop and it was just so incredible and um, I got a reading there oh my god don't be mad at me and I'm like girl <laughs> it was so funny she was like scared to tell me she got a reading elsewhere I'm a busy girl, what can I say? Alright guys, so let's see what's going on here. I thought I dropped something, did I? No, okay. Okay. Alright. So the energy that we have here, guys, is the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So off bat, you know, if we want to be very... Uh, not morbid in a sense, but if you want to jump to the first thing that most people see when they see this, uh, this could be a card about promiscuity, okay? Somebody that's just not being honest, somebody that's talking to more than one person in regards to love. When this comes to friendships or work, anything like that, I see it as flakiness, okay? I see it as somebody who's a good talker. They can rally up a lot of people. They can really make anybody sign up for anything. But when it comes to finishing the task, getting to work on time, um, you know, just being on point, you can't really rely on them. This is the friend that asks you to throw this huge banger in your house, this huge party, and they invite the whole town, and then, you know, they promise to help you clean up, and they kind of slide through the door late at night when nobody's looking, so it's that sort of person, something that's just very unreliable, that you may be closely tied to, where you decide, look, I can't do this anymore, because I have something much better that I need to focus on, a new beginning here that my soul is so content with, okay, so Aquarius, let's see what's up. Let's go to your past. The first card that we have here is a chariot. So this could be some sort of move that you guys made. Maybe you're traveling, um, you know, going from state to state, whatever it is. But literal travel or you just really taking control of a situation and moving forward, you know, with power in your life and knowing exactly what you want. Okay, we have the eight of wands in the reverse. So there's someone that you stop talking to or something that you cut off. But once you do cut it off, um, you excel, you, you, you kind of just blow up and you move forward. Okay, and we have the knight of wands in the reverse again. So if you guys were dealing with that unstable lover or unstable friend, or you were being that unstable lover or unstable friend, um, then there's definitely an ending to a situation so that you can control uh, where you're going on your path, okay? Now keep in mind, guys, that all of the energies here um, could be vice versa. So it could be your energy that I'm picking up on or the energy of a person that you're dealing with because there will be people who get so into these general readings that will curse me out and be like fuck you it wasn't me it was them and I'm like oh my god let's take a chill pill go smoke a blunt and come back to me you know so let's see what's going on here guys now we have the emperor in the reverse at the bottom someone who's fake and dishonest and the problem with the emperor you know being in their reverse is that it's a person who speaks foul it's a person that has power that has influence so it's just like that much worse it's like you can't even be trusted but fuck everybody likes you you know, so this is a tough situation definitely to deal with. The next card that we have for your past is the King of Cups. So it could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that was um, very significant in your life. All right. For some of you, this could just be um, an energy that you're taking on where you're very, very, um, you know, in a loving state, in a powerful state, you know, being very well liked by people, uh, being emotionally transparent. Okay, and we have the Three of Swords in the reverse. So there could be some sort of pain that you're repressing in regards to a water sign or just, you know, trying to hold a very happy and uplifting energy, but you know that there's something here that you are kind of like holding on to. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let's get one more card. We have the Eight of Swords. So 
there's something here that you guys are really suppressing the pain of something that you've probably let go of or walked away from even if it's just like you know a, a conflict or some sort of conversation that you walk away from but you're still stuck on it you're still thinking about it okay and the last card here, we have the five of pentacles for your past. So there could be a sense of rejection that you feel from this, or maybe you just know you have to reject this altogether. Why is this five of pentacles here? Hey guys, I'm fighting allergies like I have been battling the past few months. So if you see me like blow my nose, please just bear with me, okay? Um, we have the double card of the verse. So you guys drop a very toxic situation here. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords where there's just too many secrets coming in. All right, so you guys just had to let that go. It's just something that I feel you could not trust. Okay, then we have the Death card. So, yeah, you guys put the end of a tough situation. For some of you, it's straight up letting a lover go, letting a friend go, letting um, a family member go, just somebody that wasn't serving your life. For others of you, it was a matter of, you know what? This is what I don't like about you, and this is what needs to end if we're going to be cool. So maybe you're cutting off bad habits. Maybe you're cutting off um, just actions that you won't tolerate anymore. But there's something that's being released. There's something that you're just not about anymore, okay? something that you may have lost faith in okay now in your present moment guys we have the queen of wands so it could be a leo aries or sagittarius around you okay this could also be something that you're doing that you're very very passionate about where you can definitely have a very powerful position in it and you have the queen of pentacles so that could be taurus virgo capricorn so this energy right here just with these two women whether you're male or female because we all have that feminine and um, masculine aspect to us but guys there's something very powerful happening here let me pull one more card and see if we can get to the bottom of this the star card in the reverse okay so this is going to be, and this doesn't happen a lot, you know, I, I actually can't remember the last time this happened for YouTube, but this is going to be one of those times where, yes, there could be, you know, a fire sign or an earth sign around you, but I feel like you're just absorbing the powerful energies all around you and saying, look, it is time for me to focus on my future, to focus on how I can excel, to follow my passions and figure out what my passions are and to find stability and to know that I'm in a place where my money is good and I have the necessities that I need and, you know, that I'm making things happen. So this is something very big happening, you know. Yes, there's something that you lost faith in, but I feel like it's that sort of thing of, you know, if you want something done best, do it yourself. So you kind of lose faith in anybody else that could have helped you with something, but it's empowering you because you're stepping up to the plate more than you have before, all right? So there's balance here and there's something at the same time um, that you realize maybe wasn't the best for you, but you're moving on. Now, with this Nine of Pentacles in the verse, I thought it was the Seven of Pentacles in the verse for a second, but um, this could be a reconciliation you have some, with someone. Um, this could be a new relationship that you get into or a new friendship that you establish. This could, uh, lastly, also be someone that is kind of being like a leech to a situation, okay? But you see it for what it is, and you guys move forward in a very powerful way. Um, I see a lot of you building things within business, your career, so that's really, really awesome as well, all right? And the next card you have is a moon card, which could be, you know, secrets coming out. But in this case, I feel like for the first time, and maybe a while for uh, a while for some of you you're realizing what path you should take in life and you're putting action into it sorry guys my dad was calling me which i should pick up to because he wants to pick up my son but i'll call him back all right guys so the moon card is here let's see what this is about four of swords so having clarity on a situation maybe where you want to go or maybe clarity with something that you're dealing with okay um and figuring out what's the best move forward okay knowing that there was something that was a waste of time and effort and thinking about what you want to do now whatever was a waste of time and effort guys it was for the best whatever didn't work out set you up for success so you're good here all right and 
we have the Knight of Cups in the reverse as your last card for the present moment. So this is going to be a sense of promiscuity that could be around, whether it's you or somebody else that you're dealing with, possibly a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, and we have the Page of Swords where if that is what's happening, you guys are going to have absolutely no problem speaking your mind, okay? Whether it's you who's doing it or somebody else around you. But whatever unreliable energy you have, you're going to address it. All right, and we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse, so I feel like you're so straightforward with someone that it ends up hurting them at some point, even if it's, you know, them being the catalyst to all the pain, them being the ones that started it, okay? But I just, honestly, here with whatever it is, love, uh, you know, family, friends, anything like that, I see you guys being so brutally honest that it hurts a person, okay? And if it was like this, I would say, okay, Aquarius, be nice, play nice, okay? Because this is someone that's just an asshole, and they're going to tell you things in the harshest way, even though they're being, you know, truthful about how they feel. But when it's in the upright, you're not necessarily being an asshole. You're just being a person that knows their shit, and they know what they want to say, and they're going to express themselves unapologetically. So if you're talking to someone, and you're being real with them, and you're saying, look, this is how I feel about you, or this is how I felt about what you did last week, or this is how I feel you're treating me as a friend, and they take it bad like that, then, it, I mean, it's not like you're being evil or um, you know, trying to throw them off really bad. You were just giving them a dose of reality, and some people can't handle that. But I see either constructive criticism that's coming out, or you just speaking your mind on something that maybe has been held in for a while, or maybe even it's something where you're speaking to someone and it could come off in a very emotional way. Maybe you get pushed to the point where the emotions and the intensity of these emotions get so big that you just start bawling, crying, or you just kind of like have a fit where it's just like, oh my God, and you let all these things out. Okay, and Aquarius, I love y'all. And you know, with my Aquarius rising, I, I understand your mindsets to the point where there's, you know, you guys are the masters of showing a happy face or of showing, you know, a certain side of you when there's so much more going on underneath. Okay, so I feel like you're going to get to the point where um, it doesn't matter if it. You know, you're putting 150% effort into masking something, it's gonna come out. Whether you get pushed to it because you're emotional or whether something just ticks you off and you're like, you know what? Since we're talking about feelings and, you know, gossip and all that, here's a few things that I think about you. But it's just you guys really speaking out to someone or something, okay? And we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So even if this is something painful, it brings balance. Okay, and not everything is going to be skipping in a field of roses all the time. Sometimes you need to have those uncomfortable situations. That's what makes things last. That's what's going to make something so solid. Okay, if there's an argument between two people, the initial reaction is we're never going to talk to each other again. That's some weak shit. That really, really is. I mean, unless it's something that was like over the top, you can't forgive. I understand. But we have to be able to communicate with people. If you want good friends if you're, you know, in your life, if you want a solid lover in your life, if you want to have a solid relationship to your family and those around you that you truly love, there has to be the sense of being real with one another. Because if you can't tell me the truth when I'm fucking up, who can? Okay? And if you're going to cry when I tell you that something doesn't look good on you, or I tell you that you're fucking up, or I tell you that your boyfriend or girlfriend's a piece of shit, and I have facts to support that, then what the fuck are you doing? You know, why are we even friends? If we can't be real with one another, I don't need this. Society is fake as it is, okay? So you guys have to really groom. I don't, and I don't want to say groom your circle to where you're making them do certain things. Just groom them to what you want. And as Aquarians, you guys really fuck with people who can be honest, okay? And that's why, you know, I'm so close to my Aquarian friend because when I'm messing up, she is always the one to check me. When I'm kind of getting full of myself, she's like, hey, humble yourself, sweetie. She actually told me that today because of a conversation I told her I had with my parents. But yeah, that's what it is. And I love it. And honesty is so refreshing. And that's what's happening here. Okay. The strong survive. Only the strong survive. So 
Maybe some people are too weak for the truth, guys. That's what it is. Now, moving forward, guys, the first card that we have for your future is the Tower card in the reverse. So it showed that you guys are very honest with someone or, you know, in a situation and it brings balance. Not only that, but you avoid a catastrophe. Okay. So instead of letting little things build up and having, you know, a war at the end of all of this, just take that first battle and just talk about it. Communicate. Try to understand a person and understand that we all have different languages in regards to how we interpret life and how we see things. And really, really try to understand another person before you really shoot them down. Okay? So let's see what's being avoided here. Okay, so you guys pulled the Ace of Wands. You avoided the disastrous moment and because of this you have a passionate new start. Could be with career. Could be with new friends could be with a lover all right you have the page of pentacles so y'all are plotting y'all are up to something okay you guys are definitely in the works of something coming out here so excuse me i feel like that's incredible because maybe there's sorry i lost my voice recently so it's cracking guys but maybe in the past there's just something that was just really making you very unhappy maybe people who are manipulating you but you guys move away from that and look what happens when you move away from anything that isn't certain for you you have the king of swords so whether you're male or female it doesn't matter this is just the most powerful card um, in regards to your energy so this is you guys really focused on doing some boss shit and cutting out anything that's not going to work out for you you don't want problems you don't want to fight you don't want to be here struggling for nothing okay and with the three of cups in the reverse in this case because at times this could be a card for third party situations with the love that is not what I'm seeing here what I'm seeing is that there was something that you were uncomfortable with whether it was a person a group of people a job and you're falling out from it okay and not only that but the three of cups upright is a card about partying celebrations you know um, really just being excited and being around people and the reverse I feel like you guys are really just working on something where it's like look just know for the next year or so I'm not going to be going out as much I'm not going to be doing you know things the way I did it before because I'm working on something and I have to focus on that so for a lot of you I just feel you guys really making a sacrifice to really nurture something that you want to do and doing it like a boss okay you guys are on some heavy boss shit right now Will it be a lot of work? Maybe. Will you feel burdened at times? Absolutely. But anything worth doing in life is going to be a little challenging. Okay. But let's see why this Ten of Wands is here. You have the Page of Cups. So it could be some sort of offer that comes in or something that you're talking about doing. That could be a lot of work. And we have the Sun card in the reverse. Okay. Guys. <laughs> Uh, this is such an incredible new chapter. For some of you, you have maybe a fire energy coming in that's going to be very good for you, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. For others of you, you know, I feel like, especially for my entrepreneurs or anybody that has flexibility within their job to kind of take their own path on things, this is going to be an incredible time for you. You guys are really able to take charge. You're able to bring a new chapter into your life. You're able to take such strong direction. And it's because of shit that you're choosing not to put up with anymore. Okay, so I'm definitely going to, you know, anytime I see a sign being super powerful that month, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to talk to if, um, you know, I have any business ideas, I'll run it by them. Okay, so you guys are doing awesome. Keep that up. All right, so we are going to pull an oracle card for you, or I'm going to pull it for you. <laughs> oracle of Visions by Ciro Marchetti. And let's see what comes out. What card of guidance does the sign of Aquarius need to see? What card of guidance do they need to see? So let's talk about your energy first. Now, for anyone into numerology, this is number 36, and this is what it looks like. Very, very beautiful artwork. 
Okay, so let's see what this is in regards to. Okay. Entrapment, limitations, restrictions, complications. We have more ability than willpower, and it is often an excuse to ourselves that we imagine that things are impossible. We are entangled by obstacles, real or imagined, that restrict our wishes and actions. Whether by ignorance, self-doubt, or a paralyzing fear, we allow them to control, limit, or imprison us. If we could just summon the strength of will and confront them, we might face them down and ultimately overcome them. In doing so, we are free to fly once more. This is an angel without flight. Her wings entangled by troubles, obstacle, and fear. In her suicidal pose, red ribbons entwine her wrists like streaks of blood. But her entrapment is a consequence of her own fear. Blinded by anxiety, she is unaware that the nearby sword could be used to cut her ties and set her free to fly once more. Before I get into this card, guys, because, again, I'm getting acquainted with this. Um, it mentioned the whole thing suicidal. This is just not something I like to talk about, not to, you know, push it under a rug. But um, just a side note from the reading, guys. If you are in a tough spot, um, if you feel like that's something that you're thinking about, one, I love you, and I love you immensely. And two, guys, the most painful things that we go through in life the things that make us feel like we don't matter, that is what makes us the most powerful, okay? So if you feel like something has taken your worth, if something has taken your ambition for life, that is going to be the biggest thing that you overcome. And the universe will not give you anything that you cannot handle. Okay, so I just want to take a side note because it came, you know, that was written there and I just don't want anyone taking it the wrong way, guys. But as somebody who has been in that position, everything that made me at the time want to take my life is the reason why I am living in such a powerful way right now. Okay, so get through it. I promise it will get better. And if you have anything in your life that is making you feel that way, Please remove yourself from that situation because the pain that you go through with removing yourself from something toxic is going to be way less than just staying in that toxicity. Okay, so let's get back to this, guys. I'm sorry I got a little emotional, but I had to say something about that. So, guys, there's something here that you're going to do that is so powerful, but, you know, you can't let your thoughts, your fears, your doubts hold you back from doing this. It's meant for you guys. It's going to be good for you guys. So allow yourselves to have that good life. If you've been looking out for other people or holding other people down all the time, because Aquarians, you are the humanitarians of the Zodiac. Okay, so if you feel like you have gone above and beyond for others and that you have set other people up for success or you have sacrificed yourself in order to have other people have better situations in their life, it is time for you okay it is time for you focus get shit done and don't feel guilty about it all right now let's look at this next card guys which is you know the main card that flew out we have number 15 so let's see what this is about we have farewells goodbye closure okay this card portrays a farewell which might be a final parting or a temporary goodbye a tragic loss or simply a turned page could be leading to a new future. The woman's sober expression gives us no clue as to the content, uh, the content of her envelope. A farewell message, yes, but one received or to be given. The rose suggests a possible lover's separation, but is it a final goodbye or a temporary one until next time? Either way, as any airport scene will demonstrate, departures... Uh, departure lounges tend to be sadder than arrivals. The birds flying in the background suggest that a return is in the future. Our lives are a constant flow of farewells to people, places, and things. Some with regret, but some with enthusiasm as they are replaced with new options. So Aquarius, what is going on here is that 
there is a big shift in your life there's a huge change in your life for some of you you can be looking at it with power and you can be excited with others of you there could you know maybe you're in that dark place where it's like what's that you know there's no hope what can i do at this point but it's showing that you guys really have to be strong right now and the biggest battle right now is going to be within your head to let go of what's not serving you, to let go of anything that makes you feel less than yourself, okay? So if there's people who are treating you like shit, if there's, you know, situations going on where you feel you have no control, then put yourself in a situation where you can't have that control, okay? I don't care who it is, even if it's family, you guys. Sometimes we have to cut off family, but you guys have something that it's time to close out because you're gonna get something so much more amazing in the future. So I really, really hope that you guys stay focused and please, you know, please, please, please don't look at whatever you have to leave as a final ending or something that you can't get past okay don't let it make you slip into that dark you know slippery slope of not having the will to move forward in life let this be hope for a new future you don't have anything holding you back once you let something go you have the whole world in front of you you guys could do anything you want you guys could go anywhere you want okay recently about a week ago guys I went, uh, you know, I felt like going for a drive. It was Sunday. So me and my boyfriend, we got in the car and there's this shop about 45 minutes away from my home, the spiritual shop that um, a few people had mentioned. So I'm like, you know, let's go check it out. It's right by the water too. So, uh, you know, water is just so replenishing for me. Let's go. So we go there guys. And as I'm walking through this downtown, I, you know, Everything that I'm seeing just inspired me so much to the point where I'm just like, you know what? I think I'm meant to live here. I think I want to move here. And I think I'm going to start working for that. And there was a moment where, you know, I came back home and we went to my family's house for dinner. And I was just telling my parents and I just had so much love for the place and I never expected that. And I just start crying and crying and they're like, yo, <laughs> I'm like not trying to be emotional with y'all, but this reading has me all over the place, but in a good way, I love you guys. But I'm sitting there and I'm crying and my brother's like, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you crying? And my dad's like, you just told us good stuff. And I'm like, because there was a time in my life where I didn't have the freedom of getting up and going anywhere I want. I'm in a place where I can move anywhere in the world and make it happen. And that's incredible. And I'm just so proud of myself because I came out of a place where I didn't want to live. Where I tried to end that three times. Okay? I didn't want to be here. I didn't see a future for myself. But then there came a day where I'm just like, okay, Lisette, get your shit together. And what is it that you want? And how do we get there? And don't think of it as a five your goal let's look at a daily day to day what do you have to do so I said one I want my body back two I want to make good money three I want to read more I want to be around people that make me feel passionate about life and on a daily basis guys woke up consistently worked out did what I had to do and next thing I know four or five months later I have this wealth that I never knew I could create and it brought me so much power. I had, you know, people around me that genuinely cared about me and that wanted to see me do better. So many aspects of my life changed. And it's because I chose to not look at what lacked or what didn't work out for me. I looked at my future and I looked for, you know, what I wanted in myself. And the truth of the matter is, guys, whatever it is you want to do in your life is possible if you do it with passion. So go after a passion. If you're trying to get rich or if you're trying to, you know, find love, understand that one, to get rich, most of the time you need to go after a passion. Two, to find love, there has to be genuine good love that you have for yourself. So stop looking for outside sources to bring that happiness. It all comes from you. So think about your life and think about what you've done today as a person. 
if every day for the next five years was just like today, where would you be in those five years? Are you, you know, the CEO of something? Are you traveling the world? Are you, you know, living these dreams that you always had? Or have you been limiting yourself and saying, today I feel like shit, I don't want to do anything. Tomorrow I feel like shit, I don't want to do anything. And then five years later, you're wondering why you feel like shit, why you're not doing anything. You guys have to have that mental power. Get a grip of your fucking mind, okay? It is the most powerful tool. And we talk to ourselves more than anybody else will ever speak to us. Make sure that you're being kind to yourself, okay? You are all you have. The person that you see when you look in the mirror, that is who's going to hold you down. So speak life into them. Tell them that it's possible. Tell them that they can do it and it will happen. The only way you will fail is if you quit. Keep telling yourself that shit. I only fail if I quit. I only fail if I quit. All right. And if you have an off day and shit just really gets heavy, go ahead, grab your tub of ice cream and cry that shit out. But when you wake up in the morning, you wipe those tears, you put on your best suit, and you walk out that door, guys. Don't let shit hold you back. Take control, okay? God damn, Aquarius. This was such an amazing reading. And uh, that's why I feel like tarot is so powerful. You never know what's going to come. You never know what messages you're going to get. And I love you guys, and I love you for being here with me and experiencing all these readings with me because that, wow, <laughs> that was amazing. Now... Uh, for those of you that want to follow my Instagram, I'm always updating everybody on what readings are coming out, the order of the readings too, because I know everybody's always asking, what is my sign coming out? So you can follow me at High Vibrations 44 um, There's also um, on my Instagram, every day I do a daily energy. So if you guys you know love my work and what I do and you want a little bit more of it, you could always watch my stories and just see what's going on for the day, okay? Now, for anybody that's looking for a personal reading, please fully hear me out so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Um, with the personal readings, the wait time right now is about three to four weeks, okay? So if you can wait that time, there's nothing pressing happening, then perfect. Um, if anything changes that I need to be aware of, you know, while you're waiting for the reading, just shoot me an email. I'll definitely get it done and... You know, when it comes time to do your reading, I'll apply all those changes. For anybody that does have something pressing going on, you have three ways to quickly hear from me. Uh, one is an emergency reading that you can get on my website. So it's anywhere from 10 minutes to two hours, okay? So if you need my time, I'm there for you. I make myself flexible for those that need something quick, all right? Um, there's also an option on my website called a quick question. So you guys can ask any question that your heart desires, and I'll send you a video just like this, anywhere from two to three minutes, and just give you the response that you need. Now, the quickest way to get a hold of me, um, right now it's only for iPhone users, Android, I'll definitely let you you know when it comes out for you guys but it's an app called instant go i left the link in my description as well so all you guys need to do is um what you would call it uh you just need to download that with the link and once you find my page with my link go ahead and ask me any questions that you have it's ten dollars per question so once you ask me what you need me to look into i'll send you an invoice once you pay that invoice just let me know and then i'll go ahead and just give you the response okay so um, with that it's the quickest way but you're not getting a video or anything like that so it won't be as detailed but you'll still get your answer if someone's an asshole I'm gonna tell you that they're an asshole okay without the extra details but you'll always get what you need to know okay guys Aquarius I love you please stay within your power stay strong stay positive I am sending you guys so much love and I really hope that you guys are having an incredible October and Happy Halloween to all of those Halloween enthusiasts. It's definitely a very strong month for people's spirituality. So let's get into it, guys. Take care.